I'm very sad that this demonstration happened in the first place. Last night, I understood that Arya King had gone on the radio to ask people to come and demonstrate. I uh, understood this from a friend and colleague of mine from the Christian Zionist community, and I really worked hard to try and put a stop to it. Unfortunately, I did not succeed. Um, but it saddens me because I think there's a huge uh, misinformation, miseducation amongst the right-wing religious Zionists. And that is that they lumber, they put every Christian Zionist into the Messianic pot. And they don't understand that there's many denominations, there's many types of churches. And for the most part, the ones that I work with, the ones that constantly support Jerusalem and the state of Israel are not missionizing Christians, but they don't see that nuance. They put everybody under one bucket. Right. Now, it's not only missionizing. They also specifically said objected to the presence of Christians uh, at the uh, Western Wall. Ironically, we did see a couple of weeks ago a so-called March of Nations. These are the evangelical Christians that are very supportive of Israel, actually do march and rally there at the Western Wall. And he seemed to even be objecting in those groups to even their presence there at that uh, shrine. Well, I've got to tell you, I'm very proud that I was part of uh, the March of Life, the March of the Nations. They actually made their final rally in Safra Square at City Hall, sanctioned uh, by, the, uh, by the mayor. And so it's pretty ridiculous to believe, first of all, that you know, all Christians are the same and everybody wants to missionize. That's really not the case, but they don't see this. And the second thing is, and this is what pains me the most, you know, we have to fight constant delegitimization of the state of Israel by the foreign press. And for once, we have press which is pro-Israel from the Christian channels, which is press that is trying to show Jerusalem and Israel in the best possible light. And it's Arya King and his people who come and present that ugly light. And that is really very sad because what he doesn't realize is that the Christian Zionists the evangelicals in the United States and around the world are the main pro-Israel lobby today. We have, of course, our friends at APAC, our Jewish brethren who are doing hard work in the United States. But right next to them are the Christian Zionists, the pro-Israel Christians who do an amazing job of lobbying for the state of Israel. And if we can point to any one group that was responsible for moving the embassy of the United States from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, our eternal capital, it's Mike Pence and it's the Christians that were backing Mike Pence. And the fact that these people don't even understand this, it's just extremely frustrating. And, and I mean, you're just facing ignorance. That's what you're dealing with here.